Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about leukotrienes and lipoxins. What are leukotrienes and lipoxins? They are eicosanoids. They contain 20 carbons. Eicosa means 20. Eicosanoids are classified as prostenoids, leukotrienes and lipoxins. In the previous video, we have studied about prostenoids that is prostaglandins, prostacyclins and thromboxins. What are the examples of leukotrienes? They are leukotriene A4, B4, C4, D4 and E4. And lipoxins, lipoxins A4 and lipoxins B4. And all these eicosanoids, they are mainly derived from arachidonic acid. Why these leukotrienes and lipoxins, they are designated as 4? Because they have 4 double bond in their structure. If you look at the structure of leukotriene B4, you can see there are 4 double bonds. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Even in the structure of lipoxin A4 and lipoxin B4, you can see there are 4 double bonds. So, this 4 denotes the number of double bonds present in the leukotrienes and lipoxins. As I have said, arachidonic acid is the precursor of all leukotrienes, lipoxins and prostenoids. And how this arachidonic acid is derived? It is derived from membrane bound phospholipid and important membrane bound phospholipid is phosphatidylcholine. So, when phospholipase A2 acts on this membrane bound phospholipid, it results into release of arachidonic acid and lysophospholipid. And various stimuli like epinephrine, thrombin, bradykinin, they activate this phospholipase A2. This is the first source. Another source for arachidonic acid is phosphatidyl inositol. This phosphatidyl inositol by the action of enzyme phospholipase C, it gets converted into diacylglycerol and further there is release of arachidonic acid from diacylglycerol. So, these are the two important sources of arachidonic acid. This arachidonic acid is later acted upon by either cyclooxygenase or lipooxygenase and if cyclooxygenase act on this arachidonic acid, under the influence of catecholamines, there is production of intermediate prostaglandins like PGG2, PGH2 and this PGH2 later acts as a precursor of various prostaglandins, prostacyclins and thromboxins. This we have already discussed in the previous video. Now, if lipooxygenase acts on this arachidonic acid, what will be the result? It results in the formation of leukotrienes and lipoxins and this we are going to study in this video. There are three isoforms of lipooxygenase. Five LOX. Arachidonic five lipooxygenase. Second is 12 LOX. Arachidonic 12 lipooxygenase. And 15 LOX. Arachidonic 15 lipooxygenase. This five lipooxygenase is involved in the synthesis of leukotrienes. And this synthesis mainly occurs in the white blood cells which are also called as leukocytes and from this the name leukotrienes is derived. But this leukotriene synthesis also occurs in mast cells, lungs, spleen, brain and heart. And 12 locks and 15 locks are mainly involved in the synthesis of lipoxins. But lipoxins are also derived from leukotrienes. So ultimately lipoxin synthesis involves all the three isoforms of lipoxygenase 5, 12 and 15. How does biosynthesis of leukotrienes occur? The precursor is of course arachidonic acid. 5 lipooxygenase acts on arachidonic acid to form 5-HPETE which stands for 5-hydroperoxy-eicosa-tetraenoic acid and it acts in association with one protein called as FLAP and FLAP stands for 5-LOX activating protein and this 5-HPETE is later converted into leukotriene A4 and this leukotriene A4 is unstable so it is rapidly hydrolyzed by the action of enzyme leukotriene A4 hydrolase to form leukotriene B4 in neutrophils and monocytes. So leukotriene A4 is converted into leukotriene B4 and this leukotriene B4 is one of the most potent inflammation mediating lipids. There is second fate of this leukotriene A4. So the glutathione gets incorporated in leukotriene A4 
by the action of enzyme leukotriene C4 synthase there is formation of leukotriene C4 in mast cells and eosinophils later this leukotriene C4 there is release of glutamate from the leukotriene C4 to form leukotriene D4 and then there is later the release of glycine results in leukotriene E4 so from the leukotriene A4 there is formation of leukotriene B4 leukotriene C4 D4 and E4 and this C4 D4 and E4 they are called as slow reacting substances of anaphylaxis what are the functions of leukotrienes they are involved in the inflammation and immediate hypersensitivity reactions for example leukotriene B4 leukotriene B4 is involved in the increased chemotaxis of polymorphonuclear leukocytes and this process is important in inflammation what is chemotaxis it is the directed migration of a cells in response to chemical stimulus such as growth factor other functions are like release of lysosomal enzymes adhesion of white blood cells the functions of leukotriene C4 D4 and E4 are they are involved in contraction of smooth muscles they cause bronchoconstriction vasoconstriction and they are also called as slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis anaphylaxis is a severe potentially life threatening allergic reaction and this reaction occurs within seconds or minutes of exposure to allergen and these leukotrienes are also involved in the pathophysiology of asthma asthma is an inflammatory disease of the airways to lungs and it results in the difficulty in breathing now coming to the synthesis of lipoxins which are also eicosanoids and they are also derived from arachidonic acid so this lipoxin synthesis occurs by uh, various pathways and the important one is classic pathway in this classic pathway leukocytes and platelets are involved and these leukocytes and platelet they interact with each other uh, during formation of lipoxins so in the leukocytes arachidonic acid is a precursor and by the action of enzyme 5 lipoxygenase there is formation of 15 hpe te and later there is formation of leukotriene a4 in the leukocytes then this leukotriene a4 in the platelet by the action of enzyme 12 lipoxygenase it results in the formation of lipoxin a4 which is most common variety and lipoxin b4 so in case of classic pathway there is involvement of two important cells like leukocytes and platelets they are interacting with each other there is involvement of two important enzymes 5 lipoxygenase in leukocytes which is followed by 12 lipoxygenase in platelets and there is formation of lipoxins from leukotrienes this is the classic pathway the other pathway involves epithelial cells for example in airway and leukocytes what happens here how it is different from the classic pathway here the precursor is same that is arachidonic acid but the enzyme here is 15 lipoxygenase 15 lipoxygenase acts on arachidonic acid to form 15 hpe te later by the action of 5 lipoxygenase in leukocytes it leads to formation of lipoxin a4 and lipoxin b4 so these are the important pathways of biosynthesis of lipoxins though leukotrienes and lipoxins are both eicosanoids they are derived from arachidonic acids and lipoxins are also derived from leukotrienes their actions are entirely different leukotrienes are involved in the inflammation and lipoxins are unlike leukotrienes they are anti inflammatory so the functions of lipoxins are they are anti inflammatory and decrease the immune response they counteract the actions of pro inflammatory eicosanoids primarily leukotriene b4 but also the prostaglandins and thromboxanes they inhibit neutrophil chemotaxis and adhesion of the leukocytes to endothelium which is important process in the inflammation and they block interleukin 8 expression block tumor necrosis factor alpha release and actions and stimulate tumor growth factor beta actions they stimulate phagocytosis and superoxide ion generation to kill the microorganisms so all these are the immunoregulatory functions of lipoxins do the inhibitors of leukotrienes and lipoxins have some therapeutic functions yes the leukotriene receptor antagonist like 
Montelukast it is used in the treatment of asthma and lipooxygenase inhibitors like xyluton which is a 5 lipooxygenase inhibitor it is used to prevent wheezing shortness of breath coughing and chest tightness due to asthma we know that aspirin is a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug and at low doses it is used to prevent heart attacks and part of the cardiovascular benefit of aspirin are related to its dose dependent action on inflammation that is inflammatory events because it is anti inflammatory in nature so this low dose anti inflammatory effect of aspirin are due to ability to trigger the synthesis of lipoxins and this lipoxin synthesis occurs in vascular endothelial cells or mucosal epithelial cells and leukocytes this low dose aspirin causes acetylation of cyclooxygenase 2 which alters the activity of cyclooxygenase and arachidonic acid is converted into 15 rhepe this 15 rhepe later in the leukocytes by the action of enzyme 5 lipooxygenase converted into 15 epimers of lipoxin a4 and lipoxin b4 and these lipoxins are anti inflammatory the synthesis of prostaglandin is blocked and synthesis of leukotriene is also blocked due to the low dose aspirin and the anti inflammatory action of aspirin is also due to the induction in the synthesis of anti inflammatory lipid mediators like resolvins and protectins